Hello, love of pets here. Today I'm going to show you how I groom my short-haired rabbit. Um, this is Clover. He's a blue-eyed white uh, dwarf mix rabbit and he's going to be three years old tomorrow on June 15th. So uh, he's really molten. The best time to groom them is when they're, or I should say shedding. Sorry, I have a lot of birds. I say molting. So um, he's really shedding. I find the best way to groom them is just to pluck their hair with your, your fingers. You see how much hair comes out? Now this is just the loose hair. It comes right out when you when you just actually pluck it. You see that? So the plucking I find works really, really good. Hey here, baby boy. Also, there is this um, plastic brush that's called the Zoom Groom. There's other ones that look the same that are not called Zoom Groom, like this one. There's now your no name on it. And there's another little one here, soft one. Actually, I haven't even tried this one. It goes on your hand like this. I use it for horses. Yeah, it takes out a little bit, but not as much. Let's try um this one here. So this is the Zoom Groom. It's like a bunch of fingers. Oh, there's some hair coming out. And you can kind of go in a circle. So I'm just going to face him this way so you can see his hair. What a good bunny. He likes to be combed. So you can go in you know, a one way. Look at all that hair. You can go backwards too as well. Get more hair out like that. Or you can go in a circle. See all the hair? But best of all, use your fingers. Look at this. Sometimes he might twitch if you pull, you know, the wrong hairs, of course. Bunnies are very, very sensitive, so they obviously don't like any any kind of pain and they don't like their back end touched much. But look at his uh his tail. <laughs> it's, he has a two tails. You have two tails, bud? Wow, look at all this hair. Oh, stay, honey. Sorry, I don't want him to jump off the table. And so basically a lot of plucking. And also there's a slicker brush. But you have to be very, very careful. Because rabbits have very, very uh, thin skin. And it can rip. So you don't want to use anything that's you know, too sharp or too aggressive on their fur. Like You don't want to use a hard slicker. This is actually a soft slicker. You see, it's a curved one as well. It's very soft. It's not one of the hard slickers that I, I would never use on, on a bunny. But look, he's looking better already. Some hair came out. And I'm going to try this. Um, it's more like a cat comb. It's undercoat comb. But I don't know if it'll be good for him. Let me just try. No, it's not even like going in the hair, actually. It's just skipping over top. So that's no good. And I have this new comb. It's like in a half moon. It's pretty cool, eh? more like uh, for dogs faces oh that goes through it's gonna go slowly though I don't want to pull you don't want to pull the hair too much because you'll rip the skin kind of like that let me try the bigger side well it's a little bit too big it just goes through it's okay bud yeah that one's not too bad so overall hey baby the fingers are the best and the uh, zoom groom. So once you finish plucking all these, it's time to check. You know, you can check the insides of the ears, make sure there's no debris or redness or, you know, swollen ears. These ears are pretty clean. Come here, baby boy. Just kind of move them over gently. See your ears. Oh, they look good. And you can look at their eyes. Just make sure their eyes are okay. You see any cheering or watery eyes or red eyes, take them to the vet. Now their noses are very, very sensitive, so I just kind of look at it. And his nose is normal, he's okay. Any discharge or any problems with the nose, I always take him to the vet. And I don't even look at his teeth because the vet does that. He's just going to jump all over the place. And at the same time, you know, you got to brush his belly and all that. Um, you can check to see if he has any like poop on his bum. Now he does because he has mega colon and he's constantly having big wet poops. So I have to wash his, his bum area. 
And even with just pet and a bunny, you can groom them. And another, I can show you something else. Hang on one second. Okay, so I've wet my hand. I got water on it. If you wet your hand, all the uh, hair will stick to your hand, but then he'll get a little damp. You can also use, use a chamois just to rub them down. Now, obviously, they're just going to get a little damp on top. They're not going to get to the skin, but this will make them smooth and shiny as well. See, there's hair in there. Okay, I'm going to see if he's going to let me trim one of his nails. Usually, if you have two people, it's a lot better. You know, they're very, very sensitive bunnies. So what I do is I just kind of sit him on his little bum. And uh, the little, the nails are sticking up there. Uh, sometimes I just trim one or two here and there. And I'm just going to trim the tip. I just trimmed them a while ago, so there's not much to be taken off. But just to show you. I know you can't really see the nail because my hand's in the way, but just to give you an idea how you can hold them and do it, I'm going to put you down. And um, yeah, so that's it. So maybe one day I'll show you another day how I watch his uh, bum area because it'll be a long video. But look at all this hair coming out. You're going to look nice for your birthday, aren't you? Very nice. And Daisy's going to say, wow, who's that man? Oh, she's not going to know who you are. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Any questions, uh, please write down down below. Bye-bye.